So the history of craft in Tennessee began from necessity. Uh, settlers created these um, utilitarian objects to use, bowls and spoons in the kitchen, quilts to cover their beds, and now all of these creations are fine works of art. Hi, I'm First Lady Chrissy Haslam, and welcome to the Tennessee Residents for the fifth annual Home for the Holidays Christmas Tours. This year, we chose a theme that is really special, close to my heart, Tennessee craft makers. And I've had a great time traveling the state, meeting with uh, artists from West Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, East Tennessee, all over the state, then bringing those crafts all together here at the Tennessee Residents to highlight them for Christmas. We chose this theme this year because it's the 50th anniversary of the Tennessee Craft Organization that so many of these artists belong to. So we're really thrilled to have so many artists participating and loaning us their works to hang on the trees, to use on our mantles, to set on the tables, and we look forward to having many, many visitors come and be able to see so many different artists represented in one place. We have over 50 artists participating in this um, Christmas exhibit and the trees look beautiful, the rooms look beautiful. I'm so thrilled to share this with the rest of the state. I am very grateful to have been invited by First Lady Haslam for the fifth annual Home for the Holidays. The work that I decided to create for this year, I made a three-part mobile that features a cluster of leaves on one end and a bird made out of walnut, a walnut bird on the other end, and a star made from the Osage orange tree, as well as another bird made out of cherry on top. I'm primarily known for my wood turning, although I'm a brand new public artist, and I began making art through making toys for my kids. I started getting my hands busy, I started making things and eventually I was inspired by another female wood turner's wood turning, Pat Matranga, and Charles Alvis became my mentor. So this has been a wonderful journey. My name is John Selberg, I'm a potter living in Nashville, Tennessee, and I've brought some of my functional porcelain pottery to the governor's mansion for display for the holidays. I've got a pitcher set and a cream and sugar set and also a sake set. All of these things are meant to be displayed and also used. As you Tour the Tennessee residents, we have four trees on the main floor. All four of these trees were grown in Tennessee and donated to us by the Tennessee Christmas Tree Growers Association. And each is different and unique and decorated in a different way. In the foyer, we have our glass tree, which is covered in hand-blown and handmade glass ornaments from glass makers all across the state. In the dining room, we have the clay tree. You'll see marionette puppets on the tree, you'll see face jugs on the mantel, and a cabinet full of beautiful, beautiful creations. And here in the drawing room, we have the wood and metal tree, which you can see behind me. It is covered with um, all kinds of things from wood, hand-turned wooden ornaments, uh, to wooden spoons and things we use every day. In Conservation Hall, we've decorated 14 trees, mostly with children's crafts. The children created these craft items over the summer in summer camps and saved them for our Christmas decorations, and they look just wonderful. Normal body of work is Raku pottery, which is Japanese pit-fired pottery. And then the work that I have here at the Tennessee Residence for the holidays is something near and dear in my heart, something I do every year, which is make Christmas ornaments, uh, ceramic Christmas ornaments. And the ones that I make are all made from the cookie cutters that I grew up with at home <laughs> with my mom and my family. So that's what I have here on the clay tree at the Tennessee Residence. I feel that craft is an important part of our heritage and some of these art forms can be lost if they're not continually 
continue to be practiced and handed from generation to generation. So I'm thankful to these artists who are continuing these traditions and keeping this craft alive in Tennessee. I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I have. Thank you.